Today we're going to show you how to use this associated model 6042 battery system load tester. So this is called a carbon pile. Uh, it has a big carbon resistor in here, so carbon pile load tester. So this is going to pull a large draw on the battery and we can check the battery health. So pretty easy to set up. First thing first, we have two heavy battery cables. We're going to connect them to our battery terminals. Red to the positive, black to the negative. Then we're gonna take our amp clamp. We need to turn it on to the 1000 amp setting. Zero as necessary. We're going to put this around our positive cable. We're gonna come to our machine. It gives us a voltage reading. Uh, looks like our amp clamp, we need to zero it just a little bit. Get that close to zero. Uh, so what we're ready to do now is we're ready to pull a load on this particular battery. So a few things we need to take into account first. We need to know the cold cranking amps of the battery and the battery uh, temperature. So it has a temperature correction chart in here. This vehicle has been inside all day. So we're going to go and assume it's 70 degrees or plus, 70 degrees or higher because it's comfortable in here. So what we're looking for is a minimum of 9.6 volts. So if you notice here, it's a 15 second load test. So let's find our amps. This particular battery is 590 amps. I know it's upside down, but we'll flip it around. So 590 amps. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put a load on this uh, battery at half the cold cranking amps that it's rated. So we need to hold our cold cranking amps, half of our cold cranking amps for 15 seconds. And what we're looking for is greater than 9.6 volts. So if we're at 590 on this thing, that's gonna be 295 amps. So when we start turning this knob, you notice the light comes on. That means our load is applied. So we need to watch this. We need to dial it as close to 295 amps as possible. And then we're gonna start our timer. So we're gonna turn that. So we're gonna get it pretty close. All right, so we're gonna count down 15. So we're watching our amps here. It's gonna start smoking a little bit because it's pulling a bunch of current. So there we go, that's about 15, 10 and a half volts. We can let off that. So this battery is capable of carrying 300 amps or nearly 300 amps for 15 seconds, all while not falling below the, the minimum voltage. So good, strong battery right here. To disconnect, all we're gonna do is take the amp clamp off. Big thing here, make sure you switch it off. Then all we gotta do is disconnect from the battery, pick up after ourselves.